the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of the walking dead first things first <clears throat> i'm a little sick i'm a little sick so um i don't know i'm gonna be like a little less energetic than i normally am maybe i won't talk as much oh you can kind of see it right and uh, I, I i don't know if it's flu season or some shit but this shit's like i don't know it's it's like you know when like a nail is kind of on your brain that's what it is not right now it got I'm, I'm i'm a little bit better but i'm still kind of just in the recovery stage but yesterday and the day before that holy shit i, I couldn't i like i was bedridden and um yeah and that's why this if you're on the patron or if you're freaking a member that's why this is a, a day late because i mean fuck i'm motherfucking sick bitch um but i'm all right i'm cool i can record right now at least but just know that if if i don't um you know act up or exclaim on one of your favorite moments in the walking dead just know that okay anyway all right so what happened last episode um well i believe honestly i forgot i fucking forgot what the fuck happened last episode um all i remember from the last episode was on and andrea and the governor kind of had a 1v1 it was more of andrea running away from the governor honestly maybe, i think she could have taken him you know, she may or may not be a better shot than the governor. He does, I guess he is physically stronger and he, he kind of has an aura going on right now. Like, like uh, King Kong, Malibu's most wanted kind of aura where he, he, he feels invincible, like nothing can stop him. So he does have that going on for him, which is, it, you know, definitely helps out in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Feeling the feeling of you, of you being invincible means you kind of just run into danger without having any sense of, you know, uh, um, urgency or whatnot. Um, but I feel like she's a better shot. So maybe she could have took him. I don't know. She did out outplay him a bit with the walkers. He had to straight up fight 20 plus walkers or more. Um, but even while doing that, he still did that and caught up with her and kidnapped her. And now she's stuck in a fucking torture chamber where the governor is, is going to do who knows what with her. And he's already done who knows what with her. So I don't know what the fuck's going to happen there. Um... <clears throat> I believe we tried a little bit of parlay. It's not gonna work. No parlay. Parlay is not gonna work. And um, I don't believe Rick is going to trade Michonne to for this deal um, because that's just not what we do. That's just not what we do. You know, uh, I would understand if she was. Well, the thing is, she is kind of the newest member, but she's already done so much. You know, she's low-key saved Glenn and Maggie because she was the one that told us about Glenn and Maggie being taken. Um, she helped out Carl. You know, she's already helped out a bunch in her short amount of time. So imagine if we keep her, what she'll do in the future. She's, she, she, she's a fucking fighter and she's smart. That is going to be super rare to find in the zombie apocalypse, right? She can hold her own solo or with a group. So it'd be a huge loss for sure. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm pretty sure Rick knows this. So, um, I don't think he's going to trade her. We shouldn't trade her. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that's, that's just it. We don't trade. I, I think there was some kind of quote in one of the, one of the, uh, Avengers movies. We don't trade lives, Vision. Wasn't that a quote somewhere? I, don't know. I could, I, I could hear Captain America say some shit like that. <laughs> and Rick is the Captain America of this show. So, yeah, we're not trading lives. We don't do that shit. Um, so we're going to war. We're going to war. Now, I've been, I thought the war was going to happen like three or four episodes ago, but they're, they've been stalling a bit, okay? But they've been stalling for good. Like, the, uh, we, we met Morgan again, the chat de parlay, and this whole Andrea thing. So, um, so yeah, they've been stalling for good reason. It's just that, are we finally going to get to the, is this the, is this finally the war episode? Is this it? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, what is there left to do? Everyone's ready. Everyone's set. We all got our guns. And um, we're ready to go. And just just in case you guys, I, I have made some death predictions because I do expect some deaths in this war. It's just inevitable. And I know this show is not afraid to kill off characters. I have learned that in the past seasons and in the past episodes. So um, just in case you don't know, I'm going to let you know right now. I think one of the brothers is going to die. Merle or Daryl. One of them is dead. That's just what I'm feeling. That's the vibe I'm getting. And I feel like either Carol or... Um, or Beth might die just because, you know, I'm I'm not saying they're weak, 
uh, uh, you know, perhaps I'm just saying in our group, like physically, technically, they are the weakest. You know, they like, I, I, I can't imagine, you know, Beth and Carol handling like 20 walkers at once, whereas some people in our group can actually do that just just off of, you know, fucking stats, I guess, whatever, uh, or from what we've seen. So, um, so yeah, one of the brothers is going to die or Carol or Beth. There's going to be two deaths. I predict that I predict that there to be two deaths, two main core deaths, and um, it's going to fucking suck. It's going to fucking suck, you know? I really hope a core core that like if dude I, I swear to God if Rick, Carl, freaking Glenn, um, and just any of like the core core that have been here, you know, uh, Daryl, dude, that would I mean it's, it's only been three seasons, um, but they've they've done so much. I mean each episode is like an hour long, so they do so much per episode and. I definitely am not gonna lie. I'm 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 a hundred percent attached to uh, a few of the characters so far. You know, uh, just in case you don't know, my favorites are Daryl and Glenn. Glenn falls off is falling off a little bit just because of that whole thing with Maggie. You know what I'm saying? And plus he hasn't he hasn't really had any moments, I guess, in season three so much, um, like like the past seasons. Uh, but Daryl for sure. I love me some Daryl. He is um he's um he's a Sundere. Sundere is our beloved in the you know, anime, um, TV show, entertainment community. They're basically people who give off a cold vibe, but in reality, they're kind of little, they're kind of teddy bears. They're kind of sweethearts. And that's what Daryl is. That's straight up. <laughs> when he was holding little ass kicker, it felt um, like he was a daddy at one point, you know? When he was holding little ass kicker when she was first born, yeah. He's like, I was like, damn, okay, this dude's a fucking cutie pie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, love me some Daryl. I will not be able to take it if he dies no 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 and plus a bunch of other characters so yeah man with that being said um this intro is going on a lot longer than i than i thought my bad um but yeah let's see if this if this is the, the, the start of the war episode let's see what happens you know what i'm saying so without further ado let's go and get into it this is the walking dead season three episode 15 before we do that though i'm like five episodes ahead and if you guys want to catch those early accessed episodes the edited versions is on that join button down below and the full versions is on that patreon link both of those both of those links can be found down below in the description where you can also find a link to my discord server where you can come in say what's up and uh yabba dabba do you know what i'm saying um and uh that's about it man um like comment subscribe and hit the bell for the algorithm and uh, let's fucking watch this Walking Dead episode, shall we? Just ain't us, man. No. No, it isn't. You do this, you avoid a fight. No one else dies. But. Wait. Okay. Wait, he's saying yes? Rick. No. Wait, 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 there's no way we're doing this. He's saying yes to the Michonne deal? Fuck going on? Hell no. That's a no-no. That's a no-no, bro, bro. What the fuck? Maybe he's using it as a trap? I hope so. What the fuck? We ain't doing that. Give to Governor Michonne. Woodbury stands down. I don't like it, but it's what needs to be done. We need to make it quiet. We need your help with that. You ain't told any of the others, huh? Just Herschel. Daryl. Hmm. Does Rick not sense the man he's dealing with in the governor? We cannot trust him with anything. He should know the governor is going to be full firing gunfire as soon as he steps out. We can't trust that man. Come on, Rick. He's not that naive, is he? I know you, Rick. Yeah, I thought a lot about you. You ain't got the spine for it. We need to get her to the governor by noon. The hell is that? Why well, was Merle giving him that look? <laughs> that crazy ass fucking look. Ain't no way we're actually doing this though, right? There's no way Rick is. Nah, he's he he would not. Too much shit has happened for him to fall into a trap like this. I mean, there ain't no way. I hope he's got some other type of plan. Or he's using it using it as bait. And even if he is, that's fucked up. 
to use Michonne as bait. You know what I mean? Unless she's down with it, then I guess. Well, she probably will because she's badass like that. We don't have to win. We just have to make their getting at us more trouble than it's worth. Pretty sure Daryl got an upgrade on the crossbow. Either on the crossbow or the arrows, because he's using different arrows. His old arrows have yellow backs. This ones have green and white. Nice. <laughs> I think that was on the run when we go uh, met up with Morgan, right? Some new crossbow bolts. It wasn't my shadow. It was my husband's. Well, you don't seem scared of nothing anymore. I'm not. True. You're a late bloomer. Maybe you are too. Oh. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning this season that Carol has has, has not only gained some, uh, you know, some badassery, but she also got some uh, talk no jutsu on her side. Her talking to Andre about killing the governor, and now this moral conversation. All right, Carol. Maybe she won't die after all. You tied me to a chair. You beat me. You threw a walker in the room. Maybe I could call it even. But he... He took Maggie to a man who terrorized her. Humiliated her. I care more about her than I care about me. It's gonna take a lot. Merle needs to do it. Like I said, normally it takes, it takes one good deed... For someone to join the group who's new, it's going to take Merle at least four more. <laughs> it's going to take him a lot. But I think it's possible. I think he's coming around, Glenn. Yeah, maybe that's so, how it is, huh? Yeah. He definitely regrets that. How did I hit you? I just want my brother back. Hi, yeah, man. What's wrong, Merle? Can I have a little compassion from Daryl? I mean, like brother, like brother. He's right. He's also probably a Sunday Ray in hiding, <laughs> just waiting to see it. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Shit. Surely he shall deliver thee. From the snare of the foul. Bro, Rick is still seeing stuff? Even after all this shit's going on? That must be the worst. I really wonder what it's going to take. Because he can't talk to her. He can't talk to Shane. The only person that he could talk to connected to Lori was... Freaking Carl. Little ass kicker's not old enough yet. <laughs> it's fucked up, bro. Yeah. To keep you two safe. Rick? What you're about to do, I can't. I won't. Oh, okay. There it is. Maybe, um, maybe seeing Lori actually change his mind for some reason. Okay, cool. Yeah, we definitely can't. I mean, I knew that though. We can't do that. Rick just had to get in the right headspace. We can't do that. Ever. <gasps> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What, what's Merle doing here? Was this part of the plan? Did Rick, did Rick not tell him to cancel? What is it, what's happening? Or is this like on Merle's own behalf? No. Merle Poo. What the fuck? <laughs> May I? I take that as a yes. A sword is a pretty damn good weapon in the zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah. A sword. A spear. Which she can also use, because I've seen Black Panther. <laughs> she was kind of equipped for the zombie apocalypse, no cap. What's wrong? I can't find Rick. 
find Merle and Michelle. They've gone. Come on. He was in here. Said he's looking for drugs. Said a lot of things, actually. So Merle doing this is that a good deed or a bad deed? Because I feel like I, f I feel like his intention is keeping the peace. But it's bad because we're giving up Michonne. And we, we can't we can't be doing that, right? We can't be trading people like that. So it's like a little bit of both, to be honest. It's a little bit of both. I wanna be with my What's brother. really gonna you know determine that is brother. the result of what's gonna to happen to once he does this thing. You know? If is if, if peace good? If peace truly does happen after this Michonne trade, Maybe. then I guess it's all good. Keep that place I don't know. But then again, she's going to be fucking tortured like crazy, so I don't know, bro. It's it's a tough call. Of what you have to do. How you can handle it. A bad man. Someone truly evil. They're light as a feather. They don't feel a thing. Killed 16 men since all this went down. Damn, that's kind of a sick quote. Kind of true. The governor? He doesn't give a damn. He has no weight on his shoulders. Ever since Penny died, he's just on a straight path to destruction. <laughs> kind of true. I want to marry Maggie. Well. And we don't have to have a wedding. I don't even know if we'll last a week. But I want her to know. Before her. Oh. Well, that's just adorable. You have my blessing. Yes. Of course he does. Well, that's nice. Unfortunately, could that be a foreshadow? I've watched. I, I've read a few books here and there. I've I've watched many movies. That's a that's what you call a foreshadow. I really hope that's not what it is. That means either Glenn or Maggie is dying in this upcoming war. Oh God. I don't know if my heart can take that, man. I'm going to be honest. But that is cute by Glenn. And very wholesome. And I hope it, I hope it pulls through. I hope we actually go through with it. A little small wedding with a little ten of us. <laughs> very intimate. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, um, Merle, 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 Merle. Get your ass up, son. Get your ass up. Start, start slicing some head offs. What you doing? Boom, front kick. Oh my god. Jelly sandwich. Oh. Little turnbuckle? Uh. Your skills? A whole new beginning. But you choose to stay on the outside. She's right. No one's gonna mourn you. Not even Daryl. He's got a new family. She's right though. This is kind of stupid, Merle. This is this is a, this is a boat. I get it. His intention is maybe good. I don't fucking know, man. This is this is this is a pretty bozo move, if you if you ask me. Did he just? <laughs> I think I know what he just did. He just took that Walker's wedding ring. <laughs> Honestly, very fitting. What better wedding ring than a than than one taken off a freaking Walker? And who knows? Maybe it's like a very expensive one. <laughs> All right, Glenn. I'm looking forward to the proposal. See how he does it. go back with him get ready for what's next I got something I gotta do on my own what the hell what is this play huh what's happening I don't know what's happening Michonne talked him into something or talked him out of something if I can guess Again, after my experience of watching other movies and stuff. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. 
that a sacrificial play is coming by Merle. I just don't know what. You know, just the way he the way he said that. I got something to do on my own. It's like he has a man on a mission. So, I don't know. Interesting though. So this. Um. <gasps> oh shit! He's taking out the Woodbury man. The henchman, I should say. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. That means he's definitely on our side, or Daryl's side at least. That's a pretty smart plan, too. Staying inside. You know, using the shadows so it doesn't get seen. And in the middle of all the gunfire, they're not going to know that someone's actually taking them out. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. They found them. Fuck. Oh, Merle. Ah. Uh. So he was making a sacrificial play. Oh my god, what the what? Governor, what the, this man is not human anymore. <laughs> what was that? He did that so like casual. I ain't gonna beg. I ain't begging you. No. <sighs> just like that. That's how Merle dies. Just like that. All right, cool, bro. Daryl is not gonna like that. Daryl is not gonna like that. Fuck. Oy. Dude, Merle could have stayed. Honestly, bro. It was gonna take a long time for Glenn and Maggie to get over what he did, but it was gonna happen eventually. What, what do they say? Time heals all or some shit? They could have they could have stayed, bro. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's a nice looking ring. Yes. She said yes! <laughs> Let's go! <clears throat> yeah, stuff like that during the zombie... Having a baby and getting married in the zombie apocalypse definitely um is probably a lot more, you know, meaningful. Cause it's like stuff like that isn't supposed to happen. Such a terrible time. What we're willing to do, who we are, it's not my call. It can't be. I can sacrifice one of us for the greater good because because we are the greater good. We're the reason we're still here, not me. Ah, right, cat. That was good. That was fire. That was fire. Was that his second speech as the leader? <laughs> his first one was I. Actually, his first one wasn't really a speech. It was just uh, to one person. This one was was definitely a speech. That was good. I like that. And they'll just get better, right? As time goes on, as, as he becomes a better leader. No. 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 The governor didn't, didn't even shoot him in the head. He shot him so he could turn into a walker. What a fucking bitch, bro. Oh, Daryl. This is so fucked. Dude, Merle could have stayed with us, bro. He could have stayed. He could have stayed in the prison. He could have stayed in the prison, man. That's bad timing too. We need Daryl in the in the right headspace for this upcoming war, and he just lost his brother. He just lost his brother. Fuck. Oh god. Damn. 
That's so sad. And I, I, let me tell you, I know, I, I know, I. So I said a couple character deaths that I predicted, which was one of the brothers, Daryl or Merle, and Carol or Beth. Here's the thing. Yeah, they're predictions. I don't like that I'm right. <laughs> These are character deaths, dude. <laughs> I understand that characters need to die in a show, but that doesn't mean I like being right. Fuck, man. I did see it coming. Though. I just uh, that, that's just the vibe I get, or the vibe I'm getting, you know. Um, fuck. That sucks though. Now, see, now we gotta worry about Daryl. I mean, Rick's still going through his crazy shit, seeing Lori in the fucking sunlight and whatnot. He's probably seeing Shane too. Um, now we gotta worry about Daryl. And I believe next episode is the last episode in the season. So that's probably going to be the episode where the shit's going to pop off. And uh, shit, Daryl's, I mean, either he, either one or two things. He, either he's going to be, you know, too out of it to actually fight and use the crossbow effectively like he normally does. Or he's going to be unhinged and kind of be in the zone. Tunnel vision. Bop, 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 bop. Which I hope that happens. <laughs> uh, but I don't, th I don't know. We, we don't know Daryl enough to know which one. Because this is the first, this is probably the most vulnerable we're, we're ever going to see him. His big bro of many, many, many years, more than half of his life, just died. Turned into a walker. He had to be the one to end it. I don't know. I don't know what that does to someone. Because I, I, obviously I'm never going to be in that situation. But Jesus Christ, that must be so fucked mentally. So, so Daryl must be going through it right now. Um, but we're going to need him to bounce back. Because the governor, dude, of course he would do some shit like that. Of course he would. He probably just shot Merle in the chest, made him turn into a walker so Daryl could find him. So he can gain that men mental advantage. <laughs> Fucking governor, dude. Jesus Christ. I really thought... I really think Merle could have stayed, though. He didn't have to do all that extra shit. He didn't have to. You know? Yes, what he did to Glenn and Maggie was fucked up. And it was recent. But he was on his way. They trusted him enough to give him a gun and a knife. And to stay there in the prison, unlock doors. So, and Merle didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. He was chilling. In fact, he fit right in. Because, I mean, that's that. He, he has a insane skill set. You know what I'm saying? Just like Daryl does. So it would have took some time. It would have took a couple of good deeds. It would have took him saving a couple of our lives here and there. But it would have happened eventually for him to join the group. He didn't have to do the extra shit. He didn't have to do that. He could have stayed. He could have stayed, man. Let me know what y'all think. I think he could have just stayed. I don't know if I don't know if if his uh, if his actor contract was up on the show or some shit, but he definitely could have stayed in the prison with us. He didn't have to. I mean, so he Here's what he did. He took out half of the henchmen, you know, which I guess is going to help for sure in the war. But I think it could have helped us more if he was fighting along our side, being one of our shooters. That could have helped us more, for sure. I don't know. It is what it is. Maybe there's a there's a reasoning for this. Maybe this is going to unlock, like, Daryl's, I don't know, next potential. I don't fucking know. Uh, the, the, the friends and family power-up exists in, 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 in enter entertainment, so... Maybe that could be it, but I don't know, bro. He could have... I don't like that I'm right. Now, I really... So, that was the first, I guess, crazy death. Um, besides Oscar and Axel, and of course. But Oscar and Axel, you know, they were new. They were new-new. Merle low-key has been here since season one. So, and of course, us being so... I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I love me some Daryl. So, me being... Me putting myself in Daryl's shoes after knowing Daryl so much, after how much he's changed, how much he's how much he's become so valuable to the group, and then this happens, his big bro dies. Come on, man, it's fucked. It's fucked. Um. Well, again, there's one episode left in the season. I can only imagine that is the episode where shit goes down, and the governor pulls up. He's probably going to pull up to us, right? Hmm. I don't know. It could be either way. Maybe Rick wants to hit him where, where it hurts, or the governor's going to pull up. Who knows? Um, but in any case, 
it's probably gonna go down next episode and even though we don't got Merle he did take out a few of the henchmen so good job I guess hopefully Daryl makes it back you know maybe finds Carol has a conversation with Carol Carol um, you know because Carol has lost some people um, especially her her freaking daughter so now they share that loss that heavy loss of someone that they really love nice little Daryl Carol interaction hopefully nice that'd be good um, because she, if there is someone in, in the group that can reel him back it's probably Carol it's probably Carol or Rick you know so hopefully that happens um, <clears throat> In other news, congratulations to Glenn and Maggie tying the knot. Woohoo! You know, I don't know when that wedding's gonna happen or if it ever needs to happen because this group is already so tied together, you know, spiritually and whatnot. Um, but that's great. That's great. You know, uh, babies being bo pregnancies and, 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 and weddings and marriages, that shit, I, I mean, dude, that's already a happy thing in the real world. So in the zombie apocalypse, that's like, what the fuck? You know, so. Congrats. Happy for him. Happy for my boy Glenn. Good shit. Got the prettiest girl in class. Well done, my boy. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All right. Well, other thing. Um, again, I am sick. I don't know how long I'll be. Like, I'm not like sick sick. I was sick sick yesterday. I couldn't fucking move. But I'm like not 100%. So, again, if I'm not, you know just being energetic as I normally am with the with with some of your favorite Walking Dead scenes yeah it is what it is you know what I'm saying just keep that in mind okay um and yeah sorry I guess but anyway I will see y'all tomorrow for the next episode for the season finale and it should be lit all right I am like five episodes ahead if you guys are watching this on the tube and if you want to access those the edited version you can hit that join button if you want to watch the full version, you can hit on my Patreon. Both of those links can be found down below in the description, where you can also find a link to my Discord server, where you can come in and say hi to me and to everyone else. There's a bunch of us in there now, saying saying hi all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for that algorithm. With that being said. I'll see you after the next episode of The Walking Dead. Night. Peace.